Hi everyone. In, the, in this video, we're going to learn to import pre-made designs into Fusion 360, create and name components from bodies, and use the inspect tool to measure dimensions of objects. So the first thing we have to talk about is why even use components. Well, some of the reasons for using components are that they let you break down a larger design into smaller pieces and that helps to prevent clutter from large amounts of bodies. Um, and they also contain sketches and other elements within them. Um, they also represent real world parts that can be assembled. So let's say you're building a robot that has multiple different pieces. Um, you can use components to assemble that into a larger design. And then finally, components can be incorporated into other designs. So if you decide that you wanna change a part of your design, um, you can update that particular design and then it updates in all of the other designs that you're using that component in. So let's start by going into our 3D printed robot folder. And we're going to create a new folder inside of this. And we're going to call this new folder robot parts. And then all the components that we create are going to go inside of this folder. Now let's go back one level by clicking on master and let's close out of the data panel. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a new component by going to create new component. We're gonna call this new component left wheel assembly. And we're gonna leave it as an empty component and we're gonna leave these check marks unchecked. So let's hit okay. And you'll see on your browser that you have a new component called left wheel assembly. Now let's do the same thing for the right wheel assembly. We'll go to create new component. We'll call this right wheel assembly and same options. Let's hit okay. So now we have two components for the left wheel assembly and for the right wheel assembly. Um, one more thing we're gonna do here is we're going to go to file and we're going to save this design. We're going to call it main assembly and let's hit save. Let's download the parts that we're going to use for our pre-made components from the buffsengineering.com website or another source by going to robotics and then we're going to scroll down to the motor and wheel assembly. We'll select that and we're, we're going to save the file into a folder um, of your choice. I called it robot and then we're going to download it to this folder. We'll hit save and let's open up this folder and now let's extract the data into the same fo folder by right clicking and going to extract all um, and then we're going to extract it and there's the files that we're going to use. Now back in Fusion 360, let's open up the data panel again. Let's go back to robot parts and let's upload the components that we extracted. We're going to cl click on upload, select the files. Let's go back to that robot folder. And we're going to click on the contents and then we're gonna hold shift and then select everything and let's hit open and upload. And it's gonna take a few minutes for everything to upload into this folder. Once everything is done uploading, you'll see all the parts in your data browser. So what we're gonna do is grab this main part and include it into our main assembly by right clicking and going into insert into current design. You'll see a menu option where you can move it around and change its orientation, but for now everything looks, looks okay, so we're gonna hit okay. And then you'll see that this new part has appeared in your browser, and we want this to be part of our left wheel assembly, so we're gonna take it and drag it into our left wheel assembly. And then since we're designing a robot with two wheels, we're gonna include one more for the right wheel assembly. So we'll follow the same process by right clicking and going into insert into current design. And to separate it out from the left wheel assembly, we're just gonna take this and 
move it over a little bit. And then when you start designing your robot around it, you can rotate it and position it however, however you decide. Um, so for now, let's hit OK. And then let's drag this new part into our right wheel assembly. So now you have some parts for the left wheel assembly and some parts for the right wheel assembly, which includes the motor and the wheel, which you can build around. The other thing I'm interested in doing is making sure that the dimensions of the parts that I've included represent the actual dimensions of the part. So what I'll do is I'm gonna go to the SparkFun website where I got the part and look at the data sheet for the motor um, to see what the different dimensions are. And over here, I could see that the width of the motor is 18.8 millimeters. So going back to my design, I'm gonna go to inspect and measure. I'm gonna try to measure the dimensions of the motor to correspond to the data sheet. So I'm gonna select one side of the motor and the other side of the motor. And I can see that the distance between the two lines is 18.8 millimeters. And again, if I go back to the SparkFun website, I could see over here that that's the dimension I'm expecting. Um, let me measure another dimension. Let me take the dimension of the, the motor shaft, which is about 7.9. So let's measure that. Um, so again, I'm gonna go to inspect and measure. And then from this line, to this line, it looks like it's 7.8, which from the data sheet, it's very close. Now that we have the dimensions verified and the components included, let's go ahead and turn off the wheel and start building a platform around this motor. So we'll go into the wheel assembly and turn off the wheel by clicking on the light bulb. And then we can start to create a sketch on top of this wheel, let's turn off the entire right wheel assembly so we can focus on the left one. And then we can start to build, we can start to build some kind of platform around the wheel assembly. In this example here, you can see there's a uh, motor holder that's attached to the bottom platform of what's gonna be the robot. And then this holder is what attaches the motor to the actual body of the robot. Now that you know how to include components and measure the dimensions of the components, your first design challenge is to use the cardboard prototype you created to start designing the bottom platform for your robot. As you're designing the bottom platform, make sure you create a way to mount the motors onto your robot, and then keep the game theme and the strategy in mind as you continue to design your robot.